Time for a story we're excited to bring you this morning. It's hard to imagine morning news in Tampa without Gail Guayardo. Today, our friend and colleague marks 25 years at this TV station alone. In honor of her, we take a look back at the long and entertaining career of one of the hardest working journalists in TV news. 1993, the year Bill Clinton took to office, Michael Jordan retired for the first time, and the T Rex returned as king of the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. Good morning and welcome to News Channel 8 Today. I'm Gail Guayardo. Also, the year Gail Guayardo began her career at News Channel 8. It wasn't an easy road back for the hometown girl. Coming from a family of Italian dairy farmers, the Auburn grad made her first stop in a small TV station in Alabama. She soon returned close to home at WSNN as their 5 and 10 p.m. evening anchor. She made sure to get all the tough assignments. One minute you saw Thor display complete aggression. The next, he's man's best friend. And earned her way onto the airwaves of her beloved Tampa Bay. By the way, she came here as a blonde, one of many hairstyles over the years. Hi, Billy Mays here for Impact Gel. Reporting it all, she soon was interviewing the Hollywood elite. So anyways, guys, this is the news center. And the most interesting people in the Bay Area. I'm going to get to really know you here in a second, okay? She was loving living and growing up local. Returning to her roots often, showing us it's all in the wrist. This is utterly ridiculous. To this day, she loves spotlighting the great in our community, whether it be startup businesses or entrepreneurs, or volunteering herself to try anything new. She shared her family with us. But it was her infectious smile and shenanigans that made everyone fall in love with her inviting persona. Throughout the 25 years, viewers and co-workers have enjoyed taking part in Gail's journey perhaps best encompassed by her late friend and mentor, Bill Ratliff. Her personality was really bigger than life, and she had this great ability to make all of us laugh on the set. And um, it, it just instantly, it was fun to do the morning show. That was really sweet. I know you worked hard putting that together. Nice. Thank you so much. And gosh, what an honor and a privilege it's been. I, I really like, I go up those stairs every morning and I, I say a prayer, thanking God for the privilege to work with people like you and for such an incredible TV station. Well, we're the lucky ones. We are. Yes. 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 Thank you. For sure. So July 26, 1993, I went ahead and did a little research for you. <laughs> what the weather was like. Oh, all that nice. Now I know it's July. <laughs> like you would expect. Let me show you that 25 years ago, uh, we do have there that the high temperature was 93 uh, <laughs> and the low temperature was 78. We had about seven one hundredths of an inch of rain. That's you know, my old calendar, right? Yeah. <laughs>